Hi guys, welcome to BayWaz IoT Simulator tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain you about the events and its types. Okay, to create virtual network with multiple devices, refer the video links in the description. Okay, so events are used to create publish message or payload for each created devices. Okay, so there are seven kind of events. So first one is the on connect. So on connect means when the device connect to the MQTT broker or server, it will publish one message. Okay. So next one is the on disconnect. So on disconnect means so when the device disconnect from the broker, one message will publish. Okay. So next one is the specific time. So suppose if we want to send a publish message at a specific time, you can mention the time here. So when that time comes, it will automatically publish one message. So next one is the instant event. So this event is used to send a publish message manually to the MQT broker side. So for example, if we want to test or verify how the created payload is received in the broker side, you can use this instant event. So once you create this event, they will give you action button on the right side. So when you click this button, one message will publish manually to the MQT broker side. Okay. Next one is the specific duration event. In this event, you can continuously publish message with some time duration. For example, if you want to publish message from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., you can give start and stop time. And you can also choose intervals. For example, if you choose 5 seconds, so the message will continuously publish for every 5 seconds between these intervals. Next one is the whole day event. This event is used to publish continuously without any time duration. So in this event, you can choose the intervals. Suppose if you choose 5 seconds, it will publish continuously for every 5 seconds in a whole day. Next event is called from CSV event. In this event, you can upload the CSV file with different payloads. Okay, based on the number of payload in the CSV file, we will create events. For example, if you have 10 payloads in the CSV file, we will create 10 events for each payload. Okay, next, based on the start time and the interval, we will publish each event with corresponding payload to the MQT broker side. So these are the types of events in IoT Simulator. Hope this will help you guys. For more videos, subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.